Welcome back to Critical's Corner, unfiltered commentary, not your truth, the real truth. And as always, thank you for your support. Hi, folks. Welcome back from Just the News. Donald Trump's true social propels conservatives reach past Twitter in a few short weeks. Now, you get a lot of the so-called mainstream media saying, oh, what a failure and all, all the problems they had. Well, all new launches do that. It's true. You always have their quirks to work out and they're working on them. My understanding is this is around the middle of March. So they put it out for iPhones only and a special small group of individuals like Dan Bongino and like that. In my understanding, they'll be later down the road doing it for Android phones, which I have, and also for desktop computers, of course, like uh, I'm talking on now. So it's coming. That's going to be the end of March. Maybe with some delay, April, it's coming. But I want to make all my subscribers aware that as soon as I can get on that platform, I'm going to be on it. And I'm going to be not so much linking my videos from Twitter onto my YouTube account or from my YouTube account. And I'm going to put them on true social. We'll see how it goes. I'm not sure how their algorithm works. Little small guys like me are going to be left at the bottom of the pile. But, you know, fair is fair. So anyway, so let's uh, let's take a look at the story here. Examples explode of exact same message getting far more engagement on the new platform than a legacy, legacy social giant. They're talking about Twitter. Basically, it's a Twitter clone. It's going to be quite a long article. So I'm just going to pick up some of the, the small bits and pieces of it. If you want to read the whole thing, I'll just scroll through and you can stop the video. Radio host and TV commentator Dan Bongino built an army-sized following over the years on Twitter with 2.4 million fans. But in a few short weeks, he's attracted about a tenth of the same following in President Trump's The Scent Truth social platform. He's doing really well there, and it's interesting. They're going to show a few examples. But with millions fewer users and hundreds of thousands fewer followers, Bongino's true social account, like those of scores of other conservative stars, is creating substantially more engagement on posts and his longtime audience on Twitter. Now, I say it, I have less than 900 on my channel uh, subscribers. And say I had 5,000, which would be great for me. It would be a nice breakout number. But what is good is having all the subs if nobody's watching the videos or commenting, if nobody's paying attention. That's part of the point. Well, uh, You know, Thursday afforded the latest example. Bongino set the message out on both platforms to alert audience to his latest video podcast. Now, he's been thrown off of YouTube. He goes, what the F do I care? Goodbye. Just he was making his announcement in a video to he was leaving YouTube. They put him off of YouTube. And he says, well, we threw you off. He said, no, I quit. You know, it's like the deal where you got fired. No, I quit. You know, a bunch of high school kids. Panic breaks out over the Ukraine biolab story. Dan Bongino put on True Social and Twitter both. His giant Twitter audience created 554 likes and 185 retweets at 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on Thursday. In contrast, his smaller size audience on True Social tripled the engagement. And there you have it. That's the difference. You're getting out to way more people with a lot less subs, which is the entire point of having a channel and being on social media is to influence people to think like you do. I mean, let's tell the truth here. We use logic, reason, and we're trying to convert people over from the left. The traffic to the site as the show is off the chart, by Gino told Justin News in an interview Thursday about True Social. The engagement is extraordinary right now. He also slammed mainstream media reports suggesting True Social was off to a slow start, saying such reports are, are disproven by engagement charts. See, they go by how many people are on your platform. No, it's how many people are engaging in your platform. A handful of liberal reporters get an account on Truth, can't attract any followers because no one wants to hear them, he says. And we go, go through and 
A survey of major figures who have both true social and Twitter accounts found numerous examples of the Trump platform outperforming the engagement of the grand old daddy. It's funny how that's old now of 140 character tweets. It's uh, it's amazing. House Republican whip Steve Scalise, remember when he was shot when that Bernie supporter hit the baseball game with his gun, tweeted out this message two days ago on both platforms. Gas prices just hit the highest level in history. They've been going up ever since Biden started his war on American energy production a year ago. And here's the thing. The true social version of his post attracted 3,780 likes and 1,460 retruths, which is the same as retweets. While the Twitter version only got 1132, which is less than a third, is also less than a third of retweets the day after on both sites. So he's getting a lot more attention, a lot more people following and commenting him on with a smaller amount of views, which is fine by me. I mean, I used to have a store. Well, I'd rather have to deal with 500 customers coming out every day and make X amount of money or deal with 200 customers and make more money. You don't have to be Sherlock Holmes to figure out which one you would pick. Likewise, when I tweeted out a story about 20 confirmed cases of voting irregularities and posted attracted 871 likes and 551 retweets. But on True Social, it was almost double. Retweets. He has over eight hundred and sixty thousand on Twitter, but his but his true social account has just twenty four thousand, and it's almost double. And there is there is the nuts and bolts of it. Now I'm just going to breeze through the rest of this article because I can't cover it all. So if you want to stop the video, it gives you some statistics when uh, Twitter started. So that's very impressive. It's not the number of subscribers you have. It's the engagement you get. And that's why places like YouTube have been shadow banning channels like mine and, and tons of others for a long time. They want the watch time to be down. Now, there is no watch time on True Social because it's like Twitter, but they want the personal engagement to be down. You're reaching more people with a lot less subs. That's amazing and awesome. So that's why I'm giving my people the heads up, my subscribers, that as soon as available to me, I will be on True Social. Just to give you an idea, and I haven't posted all the time, but I am also on Facebook, Twitter, Gitter, Parlor, and Rumble. I'll be putting up some videos mostly on Rumble. I'm hoping Rumble is going to overtake my subscribers and watch time on YouTube so I can slowly... And I'll be putting exclusive commentary and videos on Rumble here in the near future. Probably the same time that True Social comes out, I'll use that link in my True Social account like Twitter to navigate people over to my Rumble account. I don't want to leave YouTube. I actually like YouTube a lot. It's the people that run it. I don't like it, what they do with it. YouTube is an amazing platform. and can do some amazing things. But only these progressive left-wing nuts could screw up a one-car funeral, and they've managed to do it. So, folks, there it is. True Social's coming. Trump's coming after them, one way or another. Until next time, goodbye and good luck.